and we watched the college students go by and his heart burned to run like they did. But he had no one to teach him. A student there named Edwin Dwight saw him crying and stopped to talk to him. Henry learned how to read and write. He learned to speak English and receive Jesus as his Lord and Savior. When Henry learned about the one true God, he realized how foolish it was for his people to worship idols made out of wood and stone. More than anything else in the world, he wanted to return to Hawaii and share the good news of Jesus Christ. He prayed hard to God for the salvation of the Hawaiian people. I hope the Lord will send the gospel to the heathen land, where the words of the Savior never yet had been. Poor people, they worship the wood and stone and almost everything their God. The Bible is not there. May the Lord Jesus dwell in my heart and prepare, and prepare me to go and spend the remaining part of my life with them. <coughs> not my will, O oh Lord, but thy will be done. Henry shared his wishes with his friends and those at his school in Connecticut. Sadly, Henry was not able to fulfill his dream of going back to Hawaii. In 1819, he died in Connecticut of typhoid fever. It looked like Henry's dream would die as well, but God had heard Henry's prayer and he had a plan. Back in Hawaii, before Henry was born, God was raising up a mighty leader named Kamehameha. Kamehameha and his armies fought and conquered the islands one by one. <laughs> First he conquered the chief, ruling, the, uh, ruling over the other half of the big island, making him the one and only ruler of the island. Next he conquered the island of Maui, system continued to be in effect. Yeah. 